directly in the sky. And in just a few moments, we're going to reach peak heating and peak deceleration. That's at 32 G-forces per SRC, a phenomenal view of that streaking SRC coming in across the sky. That parachute deployment was given internally by the spacecraft. All of what you're seeing now is autonomous on board that SRC. Pieces of the asteroid venue, you see the reaction there just moments ago as they got that sample back on the ground. Oh, choreographed sequence, and um, I'm happy to report that the uh, uh, in that uh, science canister, and we are well on the way to uh, getting that science canister. So asteroids are the leftover remnants from solar system formation. So they're a pristine example of planetary building blocks and studying them helps us to understand how the Earth and all of the planets in our solar system were formed. So OSIRIS-REx launched in 2016. It took about two years to catch up to Bennu and to get into orbit. And then we spent about two years mapping the surface down to the finest detail, the smallest pebbles. Uh, looking at composition and basically trying to find that safe place where we'd be able to grab a sample. And then we spent some time very carefully rehearsing getting that sample, where we first would match the asteroid's rotation and then very slowly descend to the surface. Uh, when we collected the sample, we very, very quickly touched the surface, collect the sample and back away. Uh, after we had that, we uh, about we took the sample in October 2020 uh, we left in uh, a couple months later, and it took all the rest of that time to come back to the Earth for what we'll see on Sunday. Actually, approach this sample, check the area for any unexploded ordinances, UXOs, that could possibly be out there on the range.